All right, let's go. It's gonna play alone. <laughs> games are so creepy <laughs> point and click Wonder how many characters are in this one. I'm playing this on my TV, so sometimes it's a bit hard to <laughs> to aim if there's any shooting. But uh we'll get through it. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. This guy sounds dodgy. Hey, you seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. This guy looks like the same actor that's in the new one Thanks coming out. <laughs> Adds almost no time to your journey. Find another way home, pizza boy. Yeah, there's a new one coming out called The Devil in Me, I think it's called. And he looks like the British guy. So looks very similar. <laughs> Wonder if it's the same actor. How long have you been sober? shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first ninety days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Keep it down. Kind of reminds me of the Silent Hill entrance video. She has to dodge a girl, or he has to dodge a girl, and they crash in the fog, <laughs> in the snow. Stop! 
Stop it, Jane. Same girl. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Grumpy ass. Not tonight. No way. That shit must be hard to deal with. Tang is late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. He's a Legendary dick. vinyl. Quit pawing at him, will you? Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Give the girl a break. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Hmm. <laughs> Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. Move your shit. Think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. It's curled up his ass. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. You can't fall off the ladder. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! I'm surprised he didn't fall off, actually. <laughs> oh. Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. She gonna go crazy.
She's fucking creepy. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Okay, so pick it up. Is that it? Come check. <laughs> it was weird because the mouse hits the side. So that's it. It's got to inspect shit. The heck? I did press it on time. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Ten years checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Hmm, interesting. So it's not like Man of Madan where it's just you walk wherever you want, you gotta click shit. It's weird. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Point and click. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. <laughs> Stand in front of the TV. <laughs> it's the same room. Interesting. Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you? God damn it! 
Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Who's Anthony? You could be right about my family. She gonna catch fire. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh, shit. Shit! Megan! You in there? I would have just kicked the door open. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! Busted our shit. <laughs> I would have busted through a window. Dad. Dad. <coughs> my mom's locked Mom. in the bathroom. Where the hell is everybody? Just jump. <laughs> jump in the bathtub. <laughs> Smash the window open. Everyone's dead. Help! Yeah. Where's my fucking <laughs> Tanya, hold on. I gotta get Megan out. Oh shit, <laughs> she's fucked. Why would you go back inside? <laughs> what a dickhead. This guy's gonna fall off the roof. That whole family did. It's weird because that guy. Pretty sure he's the main character, so I don't think he's dead. <laughs> or something's gonna happen. Won't 
won't you spare me over till another year? The Walking Dead. Looks like the zombie from the Walking Dead series. <laughs> Probably skip this, but we'll see what happens. a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Is it now? <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no Both. right answer. <laughs> sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope. 
that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. You Let's do that. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. How many funerals do we have? <laughs> Too many people in that house. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. For we eternity. know why. <laughs> in God's loving embrace. Wonder if that's that girl's boyfriend, or if he's just a friend, family friend, or something. This guy must have pulled him out. <laughs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Taylor agreed with John. Taylor assisted, so... I guess every single decision gives you a little bit of, uh... Up or down in the relationship. Sensitive. Deceitful. Flirtatious. Hopeful. Wherever Angela is, she's the lowest. Okay, that's the mother. <laughs> hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. So it's like an alternate reality or something? Bus driver's disappeared. Fucking thing! Useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Is that the bus driver? I don't think so. Fuck. Where's my phone? He fell out the other side of the bus. <sighs> She's a student as well. Interesting. Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! 
Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, Multiple you okay? Stories. I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a He's character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. It's like a dream. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Hmm. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. He's an old old teacher after all. <laughs> what did, ah, I missed that last one. Press what? Can't believe the Is there instructions? Just I'm taking sure off like that later. and ditching us? Double click Maybe to move faster. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Where'd the other guy go? Interesting. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. I didn't take I that long. <laughs> this gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. That was easy. Smash that mouse button. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily okay, enough, man. Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. <laughs> Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? <laughs> I'm starting not to like no. you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Costs nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Well, that certainly shut you up. Quit it, will you? 
The last thing we need is you causing trouble. We'll punch you in keep the face. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. It's like the two older people are grumpy ass. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. right we walked dead straight going away from you so how'd we end up back here okay let's try something we'll all go together we came from that direction we must be able to go back that way I want everyone to stay real close no stragglers you want to put us on a kids line okay okay I'm coming Stay there by yourself. I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. That would trip you out. <laughs> what did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. What can we do? Calm down. Breathe. There's Chill a rational out. explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right Football coaching. coaching. Why, Why the, the fuck? fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Ooh. 
creepy. <laughs> Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You died? You did. Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not <laughs> sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Who cares? What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives <laughs> her crazy. <laughs> I'm she not ready to go public with us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. I don't even need the keyboard. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? I was expecting to see the cat, <laughs> not some sharp instrument. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Drunk in a past life. Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. No, it doesn't. Hmm. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, Very helpful. He's in a world of his own. An old darts board. 
I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. She was just playing. <laughs> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Fine. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Hmm. Oops. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. <laughs> Gets a bit shifty no, as you get to the top. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Their moods change like so quick. <laughs> Walk to Vince. Search the bar. It's kind of weird having to click on these black bars. Go over here, dickhead. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> this guy's weird. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us. This guy's lost it. <laughs> Fucking lost it, bro. Let's try and talk to him again. <laughs> Wait. Talk to me. What's this X? Must mean I can't go over there. Ooh, a phone. Hello? Fuck. Phone's dead. What's this? Why let me go in here? Go over here. It's point and click. It's a bit annoying. I can't see shit. <laughs> it's upside down. I'll try to flip it. I'm just gonna turn up the brightness yes gonna turn this on I have a HD TV HDR TV <laughs> I don't think it's turned on in the settings it's all good all right let's examine this again Okay. I think Day I remember down. what happened here. All the factories closed down. Dated October 12th, 1979. Meeting votes for... Dis what? <laughs> Disincorporation. New round of foreclosures spells end for town. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Ravenden Textiles Factory, 
A mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. Or coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents. The last round of bank foreclosures means the last of the townsfolk are planting <laughs> are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we are faced with no option but to disincorporate. It's so sad, these people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempts to... Just turn the page. I just think just fucking open the goddamn thing, mate. Can't even open it. Read the rest of it. It's a bit dumb. This place has some great history. Are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Rev Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. 1970. I wonder what these numbers are for. This town's already weird. June sixth, nineteen seventeen. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... Hey, I wasn't ready yet. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. Really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Didn't find anything thanks to you, bitch ass. Wonder if there was anything else to explore. <laughs> Make Something sure to double check town. next time. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Keep up, old woman. Come on, run. I have a bad feeling about run. this. Run. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. Can you two make an effort to keep up? I'm trying. <laughs> oh, fuck. Come on, run. running backwards hey can you come over here what's wrong I just saw someone in the woods I can't see anyone I definitely saw someone 
100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. What the fuck's that? Fucking run. What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Should run while you had the chance. Hey. Hey, wait for us. Stop that, that scene. Hey. Come and check this out. Nobody likes you singing. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Needle through the neck or through the heart, but <laughs> through the neck, dead. What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. Witch. I fashioned her with my own hand. She's a witch. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? No. Come play. No one wants to play with you. this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Hey, it's that Angela chick. <laughs> out here by the fire why do I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay <laughs> mm. this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it what exactly happened here I'm not sure. Oi. <laughs> At the time, it seemed so real, but now it's all gone. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? It's like old school. This kid, Mary. Did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. She looked weird.
that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look like at me. What? I can't help you. Remember? didn't escalate. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. She's the troublemaker. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude. If Useless. Was. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. That useless may be bastard. In Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. It's a ghost. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. She lost. Now I'm playing as Angela. I wonder what will happen if I try and go back. <laughs> <laughs> Had a feeling that's what would happen. <laughs> this car looks like it's been here for ages. Bit of a park job, huh? This thing's ancient. Get back this way. It's point and click. <laughs> Break is that? Bruh, what the fuck's that noise? Go in the house. <laughs> it's blocked. Let's go check out that noise. Viewpoint ahead. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Might get a better view from up there. What, from the viewpoint? It's been... Ghost Towns. Ghost Towns of the Northeast, Little Hope. The town returning to nature. It's a ghost town. The abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack. Desert shack? Surrounded by tumbleweeds, however, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in the forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary. But inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed for logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town, a one factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed. A mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Hidden Depths Little Hope is a deserted town. But the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbes Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing, Architects of Unreadable. <laughs> Unreadable, 10.30pm slash 3.30pm Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer. But will her hard blah blah blah, I don't think this has anything to do with the story. Useless. Yeah. Sorry. All right, let's see what he has to say. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Hmm. I have absolutely no explanation for it. it. Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Check up. It's a fucking zombie. It's gone. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go over there, bitch. Why you keep stopping? Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with this bitch? <laughs> I 
Hmm. Well, I'm not liking the look of this. Does this have something Oops, to do with sir. what we saw? <sighs> that would explain it. No, it wouldn't. I mean, why can't you just walk around like a normal game? This fucking bitch. <laughs> Stupid ass little girl. I'm gonna kill you, man. Some weird noises. This is creepy as. There's something up ahead. No shit. It's creepy ass tunnel bridge. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. She is a horror movie. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. I wouldn't be going by myself. <laughs> You too. Big trouble now. This is not good. Now you stuck. Not a good idea. Man, fuck that. <laughs> Riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. The 
Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? Yeah. I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. Mm. I don't know if I'd go down there either. Oh, John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Not out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next Granny. move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Somebody gonna get hurt real bad. Somebody. I'm not going to say who. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? Shit. It's like sometimes the clicks not registering. <laughs> Here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's He's move not good. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. I wouldn't be stopping here. <laughs> Creepy ass place. Oi, you're back here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Hmm. It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Creepy. And whatever the hell that yeah, was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. 
sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural, ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. The fuck's that noise? Wonder if Angela's going to say something. Uh, just standing here in the bushes. <laughs> I don't get this. What the fuck, bro? Press the fucking button. <laughs> Great job. Glad you made it over. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> If you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. <laughs> Someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. <laughs> I'm like telling that you, too. there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Like Let's you. Carry on, shall Can we? Can This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. I don't know if it's my mouse. Or if I'm just a dope. Hey, that's cool. Look at that. If you press and hold the mouse button, you can aim. You can press it together. Left and right mouse. I'd be jumping through the window. Have a look. Everyone's just <laughs> aimlessly walking around. Go over here. Good. What's this? It's a rock. Okay. Why are you looking at a rock? Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces, <laughs> anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, uh, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? <laughs> just with get this on guy. With it. 
The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. He can't cut himself. Piece of cake. You're up next. He gonna cut himself. <laughs> uh, she gonna cut herself. <laughs> Somebody gonna get <laughs> killed. Uh. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. That's really cool that you can walk and move this at the same time. It's that fucking weird bitch again. It's a school bus. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Is this a school? Yes, it is a school. That girl went that way. It's, uh, it's gonna turn me around. Who wants me to go to the school? So where's a school? Or a hospital? Wonder Nobody got time for that. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Why? I did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Yeah, shouldn't have listened. Don't stress it. <laughs> no one made us come this way. We'll find another way. There's a bitch over there. I can see her. On the bridge. Oh, what's this? Look, I can see her. What are you doing? What the hell? Stupid weird bitch. Find another route out of the little hope. Follow the little girl. Man. Nobody wanna be doing that. Hmm? What did that say? What year? Sixteen ninety two. Interesting. Playground. Guess we should go to the playground. What's this? Sun and a moon. I wonder if that's part of the puzzle. Bruh. The fuck's that? A sun and a moon. That must be what we heard just now. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps big time. I'm gonna go back and have a look at it again. <laughs> Sun and the moon, okay. The creepy ass thing.
There's something over here, yes. Someone's weird ass drawing. A rock. Can't pick it up. Shit's creepy, bro. Are you okay? Who are you? What Who are you? Are you? Here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Yes. Whoa, you can't be doing that. Why not? didn't just happen. Quiet now. Be cool. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. Childish games. You will respect me and you will say nothing. No. Let go of her right now. What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I will do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells, she is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. I don't know if I made it worse. <laughs> Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. Nope, can't check that out. <laughs> check it out. Over here, place stamp here. Ow, that's got a hurt. Pictures you discovered can be viewed again in the collections and characters screen. Somebody gonna get hurt. She is in big trouble. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. We're back over here. There's nothing here. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I pressed it. I didn't get it. Shit. <laughs> I'm real sorry. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? 
What the fuck did I do wrong? I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. <laughs> Food drop There's there. No road. Oops. Must lead somewhere though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Stop the Reverend Factory. Revenden. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Okay, let's go over here first. What's this? There's a hole. Why is there a hole? Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Don't worry, I'll find another way. Uh, come on, hurry up. That was the sign. Is there anything else here? Nope, nothing else. Okay. What are we doing? We should get going. Shut Just up. Cool it for a second, will you? I don't want to cool it. I want to get out of here. It's in here. Oh, fuck. This is weird. Secret found. Hmm. Interesting. Two moons and circle. Interesting. Keep walking. What's this? Almost missed that. Over here, look at this. Hope for little hope. The carvers want to close the unreadable factory and sell the land. Unreadable development would result in the and devastate the community. The union was proposed, has proposed an offer to save the factory and our town. Please sign our petition to persuade the Carver family to accept the union offer and refer this decision. Ask for details from staff at the post office or town hall. Citizens for Little Hope and whatever local 618. Okay. 
Nothing interesting. <laughs> Let's just find another way. Let me see if I can get this open. Let's fucking kick it open. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. <laughs> don't be a baby. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Wonder how much battery life the phone has. Mine would probably be dead by now. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Come just, on, will you? Just hide in the bin, you'll be fine. Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Can hide in the bin while I'm gone. <laughs> because you're trash. This is annoying. These camera angles are annoying. Is that a flashlight? Oops. That was my bad. I think I've like failed every single one of these things. Hello? Who's there? How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. I'm not ready yet. Keep going. Hold on, I'll be right there. Why is it in the configuration of a maze? <laughs> Go this way. Will you relax? I'm coming. I'll be there in a second. No, oh, let me go that way. Come on, man. Troubles you. Tell me. 
is happening? Soon all come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There is talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Witch. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Looks like the sheriff that was blocking the road. <laughs> You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Oh, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Priest. The one from the playground. I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in Little Hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh, fuck. Hmm, <laughs> not that shit again. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small town police stations all look the same. Let's 
gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think uh, there's anything here. He's house is dead. Burnt down. Just like the rest of Little Hope. <laughs> Whole thing fell to shit. Oh, this is annoying. I'll go out of here, fuck. Starting here, I guess. Why are you knocking on everything? Ryan Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, it's police insignia. Based on past experience, let's not click on that door just yet. What's this? It's a piece of wood there. I've lost everything. Just your freedom or your sanity. Stupid cameras. Let's check the rest of this place out first before. Pressing that door. Mate, get out of my way. Stop knocking me, dope. Where the other one there she is? What does this say? Real nice. This stuff's really old. 1684, demolished 1783. In 1692, during the Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. It's like heaps historic. I think they would have got rid of this stuff by now. This way. There's got to be something. Hippie, you dirty hippie. Oops. Oh, look, it's a moon. TC secret found. Hmm. You should take it. It's probably a key. It's not Resident Evil though. <laughs> Let's go in here. Let's 
telephone. We have a winner. Found a phone. Which probably doesn't work, nope. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Now we're looking for a cable. <laughs> Be funny if the other guy came back and started shouting. I already checked it. About that. Get a cable from that. It's a phone. It's an old phone. Oh my god, bro. What is that? That's scary. What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. I should not be here this day. I stand here falsely accused. I all that What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of... Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. He will find you, and he will kill you. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Yeah. <sighs> I mean no offence, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbours. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. 
I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. <laughs> I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I sister. am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. <laughs> Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. <laughs> the master cannot help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. Probably not supposed to approach any of them. <laughs> what the Probably hell supposed was that to shit? let it go. Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. 2.0. And so did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. Maybe you're freaked out because that woman looked so much like Angela. Of course, you can't see someone you recognize or think you recognize in a bad situation like that and not be affected. Thank you, John. I didn't know you cared. He doesn't care. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. 
Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, Big Fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. You gonna What's burn, gonna girl. To her next? I like the idea. Witch. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. gonna do it for the for the night guys hope you enjoyed i know some of it was uh not too great but we got there all right hope to see you guys in the next one catch you later